They braved the wilderness and collected specimens as they explored Singapore and the Malay archipelago 200 years ago. As a tribute to their contributions to science, the life-sized bronze statues of biologist and explorer Alfred Russell Wallace and his trusted assistant Ali were unveiled at the National University of Singapore's Lee Kong Chan Natural History Museum. This coincides with Singapore commemorating its bicentennial year. In his eight-year expedition, Mr. Wallace discovered two distinct eco-zones, separated by an invisible boundary running through present-day Indonesia. This came to be known as Wallace's Line. He also has a strong connection to Singapore. It was here that he collected large numbers of animal specimens and recorded many interesting facts about the island's natural history. Together with Ali, he collected over 125,660 specimens of insects, birds, reptiles, mammals, and shells. We commemorate Singapore's bicentennial. We are not just marking 200 years of modern Singapore, but going back 700 years to understand Singapore's early history and reflect on our own place in the region. It is fitting that we also mark Alfred Russell Wallace and Ali, who made significant contributions in discovering, preserving, documenting, and helping us to understand the natural history and biodiversity of our region, which includes Singapore.